What is up guys, today I'll be doing a speed test comparison between the LG G6, oh my god, the G6 is looking so sexy in this black color, versus the Galaxy S8, which is of course the beast, looking really cute in this orchid gray slash purple color, my favorite, Z Tech Gears favorite color. People actually like the midnight black color so that's why I will be getting the S8 Plus in midnight black color. So let's get started with the first boot up here on both phones at the same time. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. Can the LG slay the beast? Okay, both phones are awesome. I absolutely love them. I actually recorded a full review of the G6 but I have to edit that video uh, so yeah, that video will be out pretty soon. And uh, as you can see, the S8 beats the LG G6. So far, the S8 has beaten every phone when it comes to boot booting up the iPhone 7 Plus, the S7 Edge, and now the LG G6. Look at them displays. My God, this is the future. I love both phones when it comes to the display. The same Wi-Fi network on both devices and we have everything closed up in the background. So uh, just a bit of a spec info, we have Snapdragon 821 on the G6 versus the Exynos 8895 on the Galaxy S8. So let's start off with the basic and the, the lightest stuff. So we have the phone dollar on both devices, three, two, one, go. And that is faster on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Going back, checking out the, uh, what you call the settings, all right? So three, two, one, boom. And that was a bit quicker on the LG G6, if I'm not wrong. Again, you guys are the judge here. So uh, let's, let's check out some third-party stuff, okay? So first off, we have the color switch game, boom. And let's say, Okay, Galaxy S8 faster there, showing off its Exynos muscles. Uh, of course, I mean, G6 is not using the latest processor. Uh, it is a processor from 2016. If you guys remember, it got with the Pixel and the OnePlus 3T. So yeah, um, the LG V30 will have the Snapdragon 835, I think. I don't know. That's just a prediction. But yeah, let's get right into the next game. That is going to be Gunfu Boom. And that is faster on the Galaxy S8. And it was actually really close. Uh, let's launch Tinder. Tinder. And that is faster on the S8 again. Uh, we have Snapchat. Faster, a bit faster on the Galaxy S8. Let's see, we also have the Instagram. Again, same Wi-Fi network. Okay. The Galaxy S8 done with the latest feed while the LG G6 took some time just a little bit. So we're just going to move out and we're going to launch a new game that is going to be Smash Hit. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Galaxy S8 done followed by the LG G6. Moving out, uh, we're going to launch one more game that is Subway Surfers. And uh, so far, you can see S8 has been dominating the test. Uh, well, the G6 is right behind, but it seems like it is quite far when it comes to Subway Surfer, okay? Like, as a speed test guy, I can definitely tell you that the Subway Surfer, this particular game, actually loads up really quickly on the Galaxy S8. I mean, in Android world, like, it's still slower, a bit slower than the iPhone, but it is really fast and feels really improved. So, uh, we're gonna get right into the Twitter. So, have it on both devices. Gain faster on the Galaxy S8. Next up will be the Viber, and that is quicker on the Galaxy S8. Let's see, what else, what else? We can also check out the camera on both phones and see which one can bring that up faster. So let me just pick them up. 
Okay, camera here, three, two, one, go. And that is about the same. So yeah, that was the apps opening test. Let's get right into the browser war. Okay guys, so the first website will be wikipedia.org. And uh, let's see here, the LG G6 is done, followed by the Galaxy S8. All right, nice comeback there uh, by the LG G6 uh, in the browsing war. So you can see scrolling and everything looks pretty smooth. We're gonna go right into another website that is going to be apple, apple, apple.com. And let's uh, go. And uh, can the Galaxy S8 make a comeback? All right, both phones taking some time. I think that was about the same. It's really hard to tell again, you guys are the judge here. Maybe the G6 was again a bit quicker. But anyways, really good battle there. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and check out the RAM management without wasting any time. So phone dialer kept there by both phones without any problem. Let's see, settings, no problemo. See, we got color switch still there. Okay. Kung Fu Do. Top notch stuff. I absolutely love these displays. Uh, I will be doing a full comparison between these two phones. And to be really honest, at this moment, like right now, I mean, I genuinely feel like the LG G6 is the only phone that is, you know, on uh, the level of the Galaxy S8. I mean, as far as the latest features and everything is concerned. So yeah, like I said, I will be doing a bit more detailed comparison between these two phones pretty soon. So you can see a lot of stuff is still there in the memory. No refresh at all. Got Chrome, so top-notch performance absolute beast of the devices but the galaxy s8 is the better one it was faster with most of the applications and the g6 was manhandled and i mean it was pretty close like i mean it is it uses using a 2016 chipset uh so you can definitely expect improvement with the next uh lg flagship phone uh and uh, yeah but the s8 is uh is is faster okay <laughs> because it has the better and the less chipset. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.